I want to talk about the railway industry. I want to talk about the role the railway industry has played in Canada. It is clear that the railway industry is a fundamental part of who we are as a nation. It really links our communities. It brings people together. It also moves our valuable cargo. But it's not enough that the railways go through our communities they certainly have a responsibility to give back to the communities. These are companies that are incredibly profitable and make money by going through the various communities across the country. That is why our contract negotiations are not just about wages and benefit improvements for our members, but it also has to be about the responsibilities that these profitable companies have for the communities of which they make their money. We have a unanimous acceptance of the agreement by the bargaining committee at CP, and we have a unanimous rejection of the company's latest proposal from the bargaining committee at CN. The company first applied for conciliation with the government to bring these negotiations to a head. They then gave us 72 hours notice and told us that they were going to amend the collective agreement and put into place certain concessions as it relates to the work rules. So let me read the letter. The fund supports philanthropic efforts in Canada and internationally, including efforts such as flood relief, disease control, and earthquake relief. Why did, we, did they agree? Why did we propose it? Because as a union, we understand our principled role in the community. So uh, CP understands that and joined with us as we move forward, and it's unfortunate that CN doesn't recognize this as an opportunity. CN made $3.2 billion in profit last year. CP made $1.5 billion in profit last year. They are either looking for a conflict, which makes absolutely no sense to us, or they believe that the government is going to interfere in the collective bargaining process. I can tell you that the government will not be finding the solution with CN. The agreement will be reached at the bargaining table. So if there is an expectation that there is going to be some interference, I will suggest to you publicly that that's not going to happen. Because Unifor is not going to accept a settlement by the government. We will accept an agreement only after it is ratified by our members and reached at the bargaining table.